World Cup fight news today here in uh, Yerevan with the uh, Mu Thai Federation, Armine and Aram. How are you? We're good, we're great, Matt. So we got to meet you finally. Finally, yes, because we talked a lot on Facebook. Yes. First of all, your English is very good. Tell me about your uh, background. Well, uh, I was born in Yerevan, Armenia, but um, in 92, as a child, I moved to uh, LA and grew up in the US, California state, and uh, went to school there, went to university there, and when I grew up and I was ready probably to have a family, I moved to Armenia and I met my husband, Adam, who's the Muay Thai Federation president. And now we work as a husband and wife team and we represent the Muay Thai Federation in Armenia and it's a family thing for us. Miropa, you know, it, it's, it's half shadow, half light this way, so. But then how did you? Huh? No, you, yeah. Okay, it's good. <laughs> I will cut it. And uh, how did you get involved uh, in the Muay Thai? Well, my husband is a long-time athlete and uh, after we got married, he quit fighting but uh, he could never leave sports and uh, organizing events and sports in his heart. So he told me to start the Muay Thai Federation in Armenia and work it as a husband and wife team. And I of course said yes because uh, if that's something important for him, then it's important for me too. And uh, we began the federation, we started working together, and I fell in love with the sport. Now it's my life. Yeah, we can see that. Avali Bart Skaros also. Yeah. Okay. And uh, your husband, of course, is Adam. Yes. He's sitting next to you. Yes. So when did you start together, the Mew Thai Federation? We started in 2011. We restarted the federation because it used to be in Armenia and then for some reason it closed down and we restarted it in 2011 and we, I have to say in these years, it's 2016 now, in five years we have done so much work. Uh, our federation has grown incredibly in these five years. We have clubs all over Armenia, all over yet. Uh, in different regions, different cities. We organize events like four times a year. We already have uh, a world champion in Muay Thai, who, Edgar Melkonian, who, who is Adam's, uh, Adam is his coach. So I have to say it was, all these five years have not gone to nothing. We have done a lot of work and I'm really proud what is your uh, biggest accomplishment in these five years? I would have to say that uh, everything that we have done is an accomplishment. Since we have no help, we have no sponsors, and we do everything with our own powers. So the littlest step that we have taken in these five years is a big accomplishment. But of course, the best part of it all was this year in March when we were in Thailand, and uh, our student became a world champion. I think all the emotions were just overwhelmed me. What's and, his name? And God Melkonian became a champion. And at the time when he became a champion, I just couldn't keep it inside anymore. I started crying. <laughs> and everybody around me started crying too because of the happiness that I felt and the, the big accomplishment, accomplishment that we came all this way. And, it, it's a reward to your it work. Was a reward. Uh, I, of course, I follow you guys on Facebook. I see you are very active. Uh, you are the biggest and the best Mu Thai Federation in Armenia. Thank you. <laughs> yes. And uh, my question is, uh, what further would you like to accomplish for your fighters? Well, uh, our fighters are not only our fighters. They are like our children no matter the age. We care about them, their lives, their careers. And what me and Adam would like to give them is for them to be able to go to international rings and show what they are able to do, show what we are able to give them. 
And uh, I think if that happens and our fighters are able to make money for all the hard work that they have to go through and finally start making money and make sports as a career, that would be the biggest reward that we can ask. Uh, you can make an announcement now to all the promoters? Well, all the promoters uh, from all over the countries, all over the world. Uh, I would love to ask you to invite us and our fighters because I promise you we have one of the best fighters. We have great guys that are going to put on a great show in the ring. And I am sure that if you invite us and our fighters, that you are not, you're going to be happy. <laughs> and uh, your fighters are multi fighters, but of course they can do kickbox as well. Yes, we fight K1, kickbox, and Muay Thai. Yes. So I hope that there are any promoters out there, they will, uh, how can um, promoters approach you? They can contact me uh, in my Facebook page, Armine uh, Khachatinyan. I'm the general secretary of the Muay Thai Federation in Armenia. They can contact my husband also, Facebook page, Adam Abramian. And they can contact on our email, it's Thai at mail.com. And your phone number? My phone number is plus three seven four nine one nine nine two nine nine one. And uh, I want to ask you, uh, who are you, who are the teachers at your gym? Well, uh, we have many teachers and we have many coaches. We have many clubs, but uh, the the guys that are already ready to fight in the international rings. Adam Abramian personally trains all of our. And uh, what would you like to say to the Armenian fighters in Armenia? Because I, 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 I've been here for two weeks and I see that the guys they, they don't work out, they don't go to the gym. It's, it's absurd, you know, it's a pity. So, what uh, advice can you give to the to the young the young men or or women here in Armenia? I would like to invite all of them to. If not train with us, please train in any sport that you like because uh, sports it's it's a health it's a way of living. It's being healthy, uh, it's uh, having a discipline, and when you are in sports, everything in your life changes and to the better. So to all the women, all the boys, all the girls, women, men, please live healthy. Don't smoke, don't drink, and work out as much as you can. And our, we're, you're always welcome in our gym. And so, for example, if any Armenians are watching now and they are interested, so they can come to your gym for a test, free test uh, class. Of course, they are welcome. We always tell the people that are interested, you can come, you can watch, you can train for free and see if this is yours, then you're welcome. And our uh, fees are very minimum, so I think Everybody can do it. And can you say again the, the, uh, the name and the address of the gym? I don't know the exact address. Just the, uh, the name is Ashkatank Marzat Abrot. It's located near the Metropole Hotel. And it's right in the center of Yerevan. And our hours are, mon uh, days are Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 7.30 to 11. Okay. And uh, what are your uh, upcoming plans now with the gyms and the fighters? Well, we just finished our championship of Armenia. We're really happy with that. And our next step is we want to have a professional fight. We want to organize a professional fight here in Yerevan and uh, at the end of the summer. So we're really looking forward to that. We're really looking forward for our guys to have the chance to fight in the rings and to make a bit of money too. Yes, of Why course. Not? And uh, like you uh, told me before, uh, you get no help from the government. Same in Holland. And uh, you, everything you do, you budget it yourself. Yes. Uh, do you want to make an announcement for sponsors? Uh, yes, of course, I would love to because uh, there is a certain limit that we can work, 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 but comes a certain time where we need someone to put in a little bit more. So if uh, any goodwill people, sponsors that are willing to help us out, 
and I promise that it's gonna be in, in two ways. We're gonna pay them back also because uh, our all our events are aired on TV, so they get a commercial also. Uh, please help us out and uh, to better sports in Armenia. And this goes not only for sponsors in Armenia, but of course also for sponsors in... Of course, uh, all over the world. Yes. If anybody would love to help out, we are we welcome any help that we can get. And of course, uh, you would like for uh, promoters to come here and organize an event with you guys? Sure, we, we would be happy if anybody would like to come here and uh, we would love to organize an event here in Yerevan. I think it's uh, one of the, it's a very small city but it's, it's big at heart, you know. And we can do it everything in the best, the highest standards. So if anybody is interested in having a great event, we'll welcome them. They can always contact you. They can always uh, contact you. He just said about Giorgio. You wanted to do an announcement for Giorgio or? Oh, Ravi. We would love to invite Giorgio Petrosian because he is, he, he represents all the Armenian fighters all over the world. We are really proud to have such a fighter that would show such A class in all the rings in the world. And if he can find time in his very busy schedule, we would love to invite him to Yerevan, Armenia, and maybe uh, all our fighters can come, can meet him, can talk to him. So, Georgia, if you're listening, come to Armenia, we're waiting for you. <laughs> and also, of course, for other fighters uh, like Gago Drago or Ernesto Host, the king of the seminars, uh, if you invite them over here, of course, your budget is not very, very high, but uh, what can you offer them if they come here for a seminar? What we can offer them is uh, the best time that they have ever had in their life. And I promise this, the best uh, places to view, the best parties, the best nightlife, the best uh, tourism. tourism, food. I think they can, they will have the time of their life. Make an announcement. You guys. <laughs> Welcome to Armenia, we're waiting for you. If any of you guys can find the time in your busy schedule, come to Armenia, we promise you the best time ever in your life. Uh, we are sure you're gonna go back and you're gonna want to come back again. <laughs> and uh, can you name some of your best fighters now? Which, which uh, the ones who are really ready to go uh, international? Well, you just named the guy who won in China. We have uh, around five fighters that are already ready to test their strength in international rings. Our best fighter, our world champion, Muay Thai world champion, of course, it's Edgar Melkonian. He's ready more than ever. We have fighters again. We have Roman Kalashan, Aram Mirzoyan, Jakob Petoyan, Burgen Hovanisian, and many, many more. So, our guys are ready. I think there was before a problem for promoters to invite fighters from Armenia because of the visa, uh, you know, situation. How, how is the situation now, for example, how can they invite uh, Armenian fighters from here through a, a sports visa? Uh, yeah, sports visa, when we get an a invitation, then the councils have no problem. If everything is in paperwork and they see that it's an invitation, they have no problem. We just, uh, Edgar Melkonian just came back from China. So they, they did us a favor, they gave, him, they gave his visa in one day. They knew he was going on an event to fight and it was, there was no problem. So if everything is okay, the paperwork, the paperwork is okay, then we have no problem with the visas. Wait, but I, want you uh, I would like to make an announcement uh, to Kumbun because uh, our champion Edgar Melkonian, uh, after his win in uh, Thailand, uh, he got an invitation from China a uh, hero of glories and uh, he he went there he fought with the spanish fighter and he won he came back as a champion so 
we have, we would love to fight again in China. We would love to fight and work with Kunlun. We have great fighters, and I'm sure that Kunlun will also be satisfied with the work that we can show them. And of course, Holland. Well, what can I say? Holland is one of the best gyms, one of the best fighters, and many great Armenian fighters who live in Holland. Me and Adam have been uh, sitting on this idea of having a reality show in Yerevan, uh, kind of like in Fusion, where the fighters from all over the world come here, they live here, they train here, and they have fights here. So, but since that's a really big project and we cannot do this alone, if any uh, sponsors are okay with this idea and would like to try this out, we would be happy if please contact me, contact Alice, and uh, we can get things going. We can start a great project. Okay. Well, Armin Aram, thank you very much for inviting me. And uh, the, the gym was closed. Otherwise, I would have met you at the gym. Next time, for sure, we're Next gonna visit sure. the gym. And uh, keep in touch with us on Facebook. Of course. We're gonna follow up on you guys. And uh, hopefully, something will come out of this. Hopefully. Anyway, you're doing a good job. Uh, you're going forward. You do you're only going forward, so we will see what happens next next year. Thank you, Alice. Thank you so nice much. You. Merci. Love you. Bruce. Aram Abramian, Yerevan Mutai Federation. But me, Aram Jan. Do you want to sell this Mutai there? Yes, Yerevan is a smart thing. Yerevan is a good thing. In the sun, Chorsi, in the sun, Hing, in the sun, Bates, in the sun, Yotavar, Pamelin, Masnak, Masnak, Sele, Mursa, Sharari. Ելեմ սպորձվեն։ Այն ու հետև կիտբոքսինգից հետո Հայաստանում հիմնադրվեց Մուայթայ վետերեշն և ես այդ վետերացայում աշխատում էի որպես ջեներլ սեկրետրի։ Կրխա այն ու հետև դարձա Հայաստանի ազգային հավակականի կրխավոր դաթարեցրեց իր աշխատանքը Հայաստանում եւ 2011 թվականին որոշեցինք նորից քանի որ շատ սիրում ենք 2010-ի վերջ 2011-ի սկիզբ նորից հիմնադրեցինք Հայաստանի Մուայթայ Ֆեդերացիան եւ նորից սկսեցինք աշխատել զարգացնել Լրիվ 0-ից եւ փառք Աստծո արդեն էս 5-6 տարվա մեջ շատ մեծ հաջողությունների ենք հասել կարողացել ենք Tasnevest tabakani Thailandum, Ashkari champion dal Melhaya stani zetgar Melkonyanen inche vatsun kilogram kasha in karkum. Masnak sumein vatsun in petutsun. Yer kwaazar tasnevest tabakani. Yev vatsun in petutsun match mer ay marzike darsa Ashkari champion. Ashkatumen yev siroga kan bolotum yev. Professional bowler too. For some of my high love, Marzik Merin, Hanel Meitz, Mijas Gain, Marcia Sharer, Umi Samsin, China Stanum, Unetsan Professional Fight, Umena Mar, Perki Nedgar Melkonyan, Genat, Ashkari Champion, Mijev Meitz, Ajovutsun, Unetsan, Naivait, Mena Martum, Hakov, Jana Chvets. Աշխատում ենք, սպասում ենք տարբեր հրավերների, մենք էլ ենք պատրաստ իհարկե համագործակցել։ Այդ քանը երևի, հա։ Իսկ դու են 10 տալի։ Այո, ես ինքս մարզում եմ, ունեմ իմ Fight Club-ը։ Ֆեդերացիայի մեջ շատ ակումբներ ունենք Հայաստանի տարածաշրջանով, ունենք գործ ընկեր Արցախում մեր լավ գործ ընկերն է Գարեգի Նախաբալյան ներեկավարում եւ միասին համագործակցում ենք ունենք տարբեր մարզերում ունենք աշտարակ ունենք Գյումրի հոկտեմբերյանի տարածաշրջանում մի խոսքով Հայաստանով սփռված ակումբներ ունենք եւ մեր Հայաստանի առաջնությունները բավականին հետաքրքրություն են առաջացնում ահագին մարտը գալի մասնակցելու մեր ակումբներն են իհարկե Այս վերջի տարիներին երևի թե մեր լավ աշխատանքի շնորհիվ շատ այլ ֆեդերացիաներ 
ցանկություն են հայտնում մեզ այդ համագործակցելու ուղակի մութայի մի քիչ տարբերվում է ավելի չոր մարզաձև է ավելի ունիվերսալ մարզաձև է ամեն դեպքում բոլորի հետ մեծ սիրով համագործակցում ենք աշխատում ենք զարգացնում ենք սիրում ենք մութայը եւ բացի դրանից ունենք մեր TVով հայաստանի հարաբերություն ու TVով ունենք հաղորդում հատուկ ծրագիր որը նվիրված է հենց մայթային անունն է կոչում են մայթայ որտեղ ցուցադրում ենք հետաքրքիր մենամարտեր ցուցադրում ենք մութայի տեխնիկան ամբողջովին ցուցադրում ենք մեր մեր ֆեդերացիայի մարզիկների հաջողությունները եւ ինչու ոչ ոչ հաջողությունները զարգացնում ենք պրոպագանդում ենք եւ կարծում եմ մոտապագայում էլ ավելի շատ ինքը հասնենք Ձեր Մյուտայի ֆեդերացիա անունը ոնց է Հայաստանի Պրոֆեշնալ Մյուտայի ֆեդերացիան մենք միակ ներկայացուցիչն ենք պաշտոնապես Որդ Մյուտայի ֆեդերացիայի Հայաստանում եւ հենց այդ ֆեդերացիայով VMF-ով որ Մյուտայի ֆեդերացիայով այս թվին ունեցան աշխարհի չեմպիոն Հիմա ինչքան ստուդենտ ունեք Անցանուլ ակումբները որ բոլորին միացնենք իրար որ մեր ստուդենտներն են երևի թե մի 400-500 ստուդենտ ընթանում այո ամաթեուր եւ պրոֆ պրոֆեսիոնալ Իսկ ձեր ամենից ուժեղ մյուտայ ֆայտերը օղա հիմա այս պահին իհարկե միակ կարելի է ունենք շատ լավ մարզիկներ բայց 2016 թվականի աշխարհի չեմպիոնին ուզեն առանձնացնել Էդգար Մերկոնյանին որը խոսքով չի այ գործով ապացուցել է որ ինքը այսօր բադրությամբ լավագույնն է աշխարհում իրա քաշային կարգի մեջ Իսկ դուք նոր ինձի բանալ ես որ բոքսի դասել եք տալի չէ Ձեր դպրոցը Մեր դպրոցում նաև կա այո բաղկացած է երկու մասից կես ըմբշամարտ է ռեսլինգ Եվ մյուս կեսը հարվածային սպորտաձևերն են, կեսը դա ըմբշամարտն է, որտեղ մարզվում են ըմբշամարտով, իսկ մյուս կեսը հարվածային սպորտաձևերին է հատկացրած, որտեղ մարզվում են բոքսի, քիկբոքսինգ, քիկբոքսինգ եւ մութայ։ Ոկ, ուրեմն դուք մյութայ եք տալի համ քիկբոքս։ Նա, չէ, մերը միայն մութայա, քիկբոքսինգը այն մարզի չէ եւ այլ ֆեդերացիա։ Ինչ կուզեք, կուզես ասես Եվրոպայի հայերին ստեղի մյուտայի մասին Ընթանում կուզենամ ողջ ունեմ մեր Հայաստանից այսինքն սպայծար արևոտ ողջ ունեմ մեր հայերին ինստվում է շատ են կարոտում Հայաստանը ինչևից է լավ մնացեք հույսով են որ բոլորի հետ մոտապագայում մեր աշխատանքի շնորհիվ եւ ինչու ոչ ուղակի որգան հյուր մեծ սիրով կուզենանք տեսնենք ծանոթանալ հույսով են որ կտեսնվենք ծանոթանալ եւ ավելի մոտիկից կճանաչենք իրար ինշալլա մեր սիարամջան խնդրեմ հիմա